All right, it's time. Dude, isn't it late over there? It is, it's late. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> the patch notes, 2.0 patch notes that are coming through. And it's, it seems like it's coming out on the 29th for America and uh, the 30th for Japan and Europe and Australia. So very weird, but I assume the day after uh, they actually like pump out the actual update and there might be like a maintenance and they actually pump that out as well. So boom. Patch notes, changes to multiplayer. All right, so this is the good stuff. So this is Tristringer. The size of terrain area inked by falling spray has been increased. So this is basically a painting buff. When the AOE drops on the floor, it's gonna actually basically paint a little bit more. And this is like the the travel. So like when it travels through the air and like ink like falls off of the, the bullet flying, uh, that paint has been basically buffed a little bit more so that's quite cool that's good a little painting buff for tri-stringer it actually might do some good for it even when i actually play that more on splat zones now or well, it might be i mean depending on how good the painting buff actually is but splatana wiper the width of the ink launched by horizontal slashes has been increased by 27 percent so large painting buff for that the size of terrain inked by fallen spray has been increased that's the same that's kind of like the same as this but just in a different way so it's basically they're just two painting buffs. It's just two painting buffs then. Damn. All right. I mean, I, I like that for Spatana Wiper because like, I'm not going to lie. There are times where it's just like it feels like it doesn't paint that much. But 27% seems like a pretty large, it's pretty large for painting. That kind of that kind of gives me like the Kenso 52 Galvides when they increased the painting for that. Where it's just like, well, I didn't need it, but then they gave it anyway. And it just became like one of the biggest, uh, <laughs> one of the best painting weapons in the game, dude. It was just kind of ridiculous. So wait. This is all the main weapon bait changes. Damn. Guys, where's our umbrella? Where's our umbrella buff? <laughs> where's our umbrella buff? Undercover umbrella buff? Tent umbrella buff? Where is that out, dude? <laughs> Unlucky. Okay, we gotta wait for next season, dude. <laughs> Unplayable weapon still, dude. Angle shooter. Initial velocity is about 20% faster, and the flight range has been extended. Hmm. I mean, okay, range is okay. Range is alright. I mean, yeah, you can sh reach things a little bit longer. I wonder how beneficial that's gonna be. But, mm, I don't know. We, we really just have to see how that really works in uh, in the game. But that's kind of underwhelming, dude. I, I don't know. I definitely feel like it needs a little bit of a damage buff. Like a little bit. Okay, I said 40, 45 before. Okay, at least 35, dude. Just, I mean, it gets more range and I guess like, I guess cross map, maybe. 20% longer cross map, that's gonna be cool. But like, a little damage buff, man, a little damage buff. If they make the trail do damage itself, what they need to do is revert this specific buff back and then just make it like Wavebreaker, except you can throw it, you know? I don't know how angle shooter is gonna be. I don't know how the Sasha deco mains are gonna feel. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Zipcaster, ink consumption when using a main weapon while the Zipcaster is active has been decreased to about 67% of previous. Oh, I mean, that's decent. That's a pr fairly large ink consumption buff to Zipcaster. So, I mean, maybe you would be able to use it longer, really. That's basically what they're saying. You'll be able to shoot much more. 50%, yeah, I mean, 67. I mean, that's that's pretty dang good. I think that's pretty good for Zipcaster. It allows it just to shoot a, lot, a little bit longer. So we'll just see. Ink Vacuum. Damage of return has been increased from 120 to 220. This change is intended to increase damage to done to Big Bubbler and Rainmaker Shields and to allow players to defeat opponents armored due to Squid Roll and Squid Surge. That's pretty big. It's basically a nerf to Big Bubbler because the Ink Vac is now stronger against it which is actually pretty cool, you know? Okay, Reslider, this is, okay. Damage from the rush attack and from being caught up in the explosion at short range has been increased from 180 to 220. This is intended to increase damage to onto Big Bubbler. Okay, that's the same thing. Uh, same thing as Ink Vac, so just damage buffs to Ink Vacuum and Reslider just so that they can take out Big Bubblers and um, Squid Rolls and stuff. No reduced lag, yeah, no reduced lag on uh, the Reslider, so that's kind of rough. They really need to reduce the lag, like the lag time uh, on the dismount of the ref of the recycler, like when you come off it, because it's just like you go into it and it's just like you're sliding, you're sliding, you're sliding, and then like you pop and then it's just like, man, I'm just like a sitting duck here. It's kind of like how you like 
Booyah Bomb used to be when in Splatoon 2 when you threw it and then you're just a sitting duck and a sniper could always snipe you right, right after. Like 10 frames at least or even le maybe a little more. Dude. A 10 missile buff? Oh no, not buff, nerf. After launch is confirmed, the special gauge will now slowly decrease. Yes! Finally! Oh no, that's, that's really good. No, this is a good, this is a good nerf. I've, I've been saying this for so long that you can spam Tenta missiles all the time because every single time you use Tenta missiles, uh, you can start building up your next one all the time. But now when you use Tenta missiles, if you've seen how Ink Clout or Ink Storm has been used, when you throw it out, it will like slowly just like take the gauge down and you have to actually like wait for the gauge to go down until you actually get your next missiles out. This is what's going to stop the spam. Thank you. We've been waiting for this for three freaking years. That's actually amazing. Maybe this is an unpopular opinion, but personally, I think Crab Tank, how it is right now, is okay. I don't think they really need to change anything from it other than like players like upping the special upping the special points for it honestly i think that's all that really needs to be done to it because like i feel like crab tank is like it's such a very special where like it'll only do be as good as you make it to be and like so there are going to be some players that are going to be really freaking good with it or some players are not there's always so many ways to stop it you you can always fight against it it doesn't have like so much health like too much health in the world you can throw bombs at it and it destro gets destroyed easily. You have Splatana that destroys it super easily, like in two swings. Like there there are definitely ways to like to beat it, but I think people just really need to like experiment a little bit more and figure it out. Uh, because at least for me, when I'm going against the Crab Tank, I, I don't feel like I'm just like, oh my God, the Crab Tank, I hate this. Why do I have to face against one of, another one of these things? Like it's, it's not all that bad. It's like it's, I think it's okay. So special points, they've been changed. Uh, Aero Spray buff, NZEP buff, Splash Up Pro buff, Jet Squatcher buff, H3 buff, Elite nerf. This is kind of whatever. I mean, Elite nerf, I mean, okay, cool. 10% more or 10 more ink. It's just like whatever. All of this is all whatever as well. It doesn't really change much. It's just, okay, these weapons get their special just slightly faster. So, wait, the direct sound effect for the angle shooter when hit. No, it's just, it's now different. Okay, Angle Shooter has a different sound to it. The sound effect when wielding the Trizooka is now harder for allies to hear. Booyah Bombs are now louder. Booyah Bomb basically nerfed by sound, so it's just easier for opponents to hear, so they're more aware. Basically upping the awareness of people, so... Changes to X Battle. Wait, X Power is calculated separately for each battle, like Zat Zones, Tower Control. It's basically Splatoon 2 again. So yeah, you got separate X Power for Splat Zones, Tower Control, Rainmaker, Clamblin. Unless like you're playing Anarchy for specific modes, they're all going to be separate again. But I feel like we knew this though. This was actually said uh, beforehand, but this is like definite confirmation now. Wait, players battle until reaching three wins or three losses, whereupon the X rank is gained or lost. Oh, okay. This is a good change. It's basically how Splatoon 2 was before, but you earn points just like how it is in Anarchy Battles. So you have to win three or you either lose three. So that's good. No, no, that's, that's actually really good. You're only ever really going to lose points if you're losing a lot. <laughs> but you earn points if you're winning however much games, you know. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Added a feature allowing players to purposely reset their rank. This feature can, be, can only be used once per session by players of B or higher. But why though? This is gonna encourage smurfing, dude. I mean, it can only have been done once per session, okay. But like, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. If someone's like bankrupt, yeah, no, 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 actually, that's good, that's good. Because I've been hearing a lot of people being like in the negatives, like negative 1,000, negative 3,000. At least now you can go back, rank up again, and then try again. That's good quality of your life. That's good quality of your life, and I'm glad that they at least um, understand that. Because like you could just like being in negatives forever, and then you're just stuck, hard stuck there forever, and you have to wake every single season, dude, just to get out of the out of the the debt that you've been, dude. Like, <laughs> dude doesn't know what it's like, dude. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Players can reproduce a scenario and attempt it as many times as they want, creating a private job, then pressing ZL to select a scenario. Players can save a job scenario. So when they say job scenario, it saves a seed so you can actually replay runs. Right. What if, 
what if? So would it be like the exact same bosses? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if you can send the replay to other players? That literally can spawn competitive Saren run in the most competitive way. That's good because then you could pick random seeds. Cool, you can share it around. A tournament organization could save that seed, like a, a bunch of seeds and it'd be like, this is the seeds that the players are gonna play on. These are all the different scenarios the players are gonna play on and we're gonna have a tournament and everyone plays on the same seed. So everyone run tournaments can actually happen, dude. That's, that's huge. Like if it's the exact same scenario every single time, that is so friggin' huge for, for competitive Saren run. That's so sick. That's actually so sick. I hope that's true. I hope that's true because that's, that's, that's a whole new avenue of the game we're playing. That's a whole new avenue of where Splatoon can go. It's competitive Saron, I mean, it's it's been a thing, but it's never be really been like a thing where like it's been fair, but this would make it fair where actual tournaments can actually form, you know? This is some Splatfest stuff. So you guys can, look, I'm not gonna read all of this. You guys can read all of this to yourself as well. Um, I kind of, I feel like I've gone through like most of the stuff that at least for me is uh, important to read. There are definitely a lack of main weapon changes, which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. The Brellas, man. Brellas, what the heck? Where, what has, what's happened to the Brellas, dude? The, the angle shooter is just like, hmm, no room codes. Where's the room codes, dude? Private battle of room codes, man. Things have been stronger against Big Bubbler, so Ink Vacuum and Reef Slide a bit stronger than that. Tenta Missiles, probably this is the best change in the game, right? To me, the Saren Run stuff is like, sick. There are a couple of th like I've, like I said, there's a couple of things missing. The frigging angle shooter. I wish it had more uh, a, a larger damage buff. That is one thing. The all the brellas need to be buffed. Every single one of them. All brellas need to be buffed. 96 gal, maybe up the RNG just a little bit, just a little bit, not that much, just not by much, but just a little bit, just so it's a little bit more bearable to play. Cause not gonna lie, right now it's a bit like, ah, uh, maybe it's just cause it, the deco isn't out and it doesn't have a wall, but like, uh, it's painful, man. I can't tell, I can't take it anymore, dude. It's too painful. Zipcaster, cool. Inkvac, cool. Recider, cool. Crab tank, nothing happened to it. That's perfectly fine. I'm surprised they didn't up the special points for like splash o -matic to for that because loads of people are like using that weapon. So I'm surprised about that. So we'll just have to wait and see. Like maybe they might do like a midday, like not a midday, but like mid season patch um, to like figure things out and all that jazz. But yeah, a couple of things I feel like they're missing, but like I think all in all, it's a decent patch. Cause personally, I didn't even really feel like things needed to be drastically changed. Uh, like maybe the machine, maybe, but I don't know how Crab Tank's been going. Not really many people have been using it cause Crab Tank's kind of there and like a bunch of other things. And I don't know, it's, 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 it's kind of odd to see like machine not being played as much as normal, but I think it's still a great weapon. So people still probably play. But yeah, Brellas, where are the Brella buffs, dude? Where are they? Where are the Brella buffs? Where? And I don't get it. They're all, they, all these weapons suck. They suck. They're so bad. They're so bad to, dang, these brothers suck. <laughs> the brothers freaking suck. Why is Dew whispering? It's 2 a.m. People are sleeping, all right? People are sleeping. <laughs>